Okay, hey, hey. Took this video, this audio off, okay? Hey, 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 how's it going, everybody? I pray everybody is having an amazing Friday. And um, I just wanted to come and give you a quick word with something that God gave me. And um, I pray that this word helps you because Lord knows it helped me. So you see the, um, the head and says, are you standing 10 hut? 10 hut is like, are you standing attention? Are you standing attention like the guards do? I put up a picture earlier today. Hey, Loretha. And I put up, this is the picture that I put up early. I don't know if y'all seen it, where it's where you see the, you see the Queen Elizabeth and you see the guards are standing, standing attention. They have, they in a 10 hut. Hey, everybody, they're in a 10 hut position, right? But then right down there, you see that bear. Y'all see that bear right there? It's a bear right there. But then you see the guard, he's still not out of position. Okay, so God, God had gave me a message earlier today because anytime you ask God for something, anytime you ask God to do something for you and you know you have the right spirit, you got the right heart, you have a love, you have a zeal to say, God, I want to do this for you. God, I want to do this this way. God, I know what your word says. And God, I want to walk according to your will and your purpose and your way. But then here come old flesh. Old flesh gets in the way. And so we're like, okay, God, I like, okay, Lord, like this flesh is like rising up. So this morning, my flesh was rising up because um, a friend of mine, he sent me a video and I clicked on the video and then I clicked out the video. But of course, watching the video got my flesh like out of control, right? And so immediately God reminded me, he said, but Mary, you asked me for something. He reminded me that you are warring for something. And so... Anytime you are in position to um to receive something from God, right? Because you ask God, because when you ask God for something, He gives it. That's just like if our children ask us for something, are we going to give it to our children? Well, God is the same way. But like if we have it within our means, we, we give it to Him. But if we don't, or if we feel like they're not ready for it, we don't give it to Him. Do you see what I'm saying? So like I said, I've been seeking God for something. I've been praying for God for something. And so here come old flesh. And here come the, the, the wows of the devil trying to say, okay, Mary, like, look, forget it. You got to handle this. Okay, so look. So God immediately reminded me of that. And so he said, that's why we got to hide our ear gates, what we say, what we do, and where we walk to. And so, okay. So, of course, like anytime God give me something, oh, he going to always give me an illustration with it. And so um, he had me to Google a guard. And so when you, in, you know, guards, when they protecting Queen Elizabeth, let me show you her again. When, when they're protecting Queen Elizabeth, when she's walking, they cannot look upon her. Only thing they can do is allow her to walk. But then in that picture, like, it is amazing that God gave me this. And I pull up with a bear in the background. So the bear is a representation of our flesh. So even though the guards are standing 10 hut, they can't move. They have to stay in position. They have to protect the queen. The queen is us. The guard is us. The queen is a representation of our flesh. Okay? Hold up. Thank you, God. God gave me this. Thank you, God. Okay. Pull it a little close. You said the queen Elizabeth has on a white dress. I don't know if you can see it good, but if you, you know, can see it later. But the Queen Elizabeth has on a white dress. And she is walking with her head up because she's walking because she's covered and she's protected. She knows that she has a guard on her right. She has a guard on her left. She has a guard on her back. So the Queen is walking according to where she needs to go. And the guards are standing 10 hut. They're not out of position. They are not moving. They standing there and they watching the queen as she proceeds to where she needs to go. That's like us. We are a queen. We are a queen. We are just like the queen. The whiteness of the queen we should have on is our purity and it's our flesh. We trust in him. We believe in God. So we walking forward. Now we got to remember we are the queen and we are the guards. Okay. The queen is us. We headed somewhere. The guard is us. We are on guard. 
We guard on the right, the left, and the back, which means you got you to gotta guard what you see, what you hear, what you say, and what your feet walk to. So as the queen is going on by her business, the guards behind us, behind us, we can't see what's behind us. So the guard behind us, as we walk in according you know, to the will and the way of God, God is covering and protecting us. The Holy Spirit is protecting us. So as we got our flesh, the flesh is the representation of the guard on the right, on the left, in the back, right? So you know you are the queen and you're walking. You are the precious, like you are the jewel and you are the apples of God's eye. God loves you, like no matter what. So no matter what. So you want to get to where God is. So why? You got the guard. God on the right, your ears. God on the left, your feet. God on the back, your mouth. It should never, it should never, it should never come out of ten hut position. Anytime we let our guard down on the right, the left, and the back, that bear, that's a representation that's ready, that's ready to take out, will take you out. That bear is a representation of our flesh. The Lord said our flesh will always be with us, but we got to stand guard as we walk. So you got to be the queen and you have to be the guard. But just know you got the Holy Ghost with you. Now, the Holy Ghost not going to make you, but he's going to give you a warning. The Holy Ghost, hallelujah, the Holy Ghost is this. Hold up. This is the Holy, this is the representation of the Holy Ghost. Let's pull it close. Do y'all see that gun? Those soldiers, they have a gun with them. That gun is a representation of the Holy Ghost. The, the gun is a representation of what you've been hearing in the word of God, what you've been hearing in church, what you've been ministering to your soul. That gun is a representation of the Holy Ghost. Do you know when you got to shoot the Holy Ghost? Do you know when you got to apply that scripture to that flesh? Do you know when to use your weapon? Psalms 23 is a weapon. Proverbs 2, verse um, 2 through 12 is a weapon. When God says, seek wisdom, when you seek and knowledge and understanding of God's word, God said, I will cover you and I will protect you. But if you don't seek wisdom, like, God, I know I have no business doing this, but wisdom will tell you how to come out of it. Wisdom will tell you how to turn, the back, turn back to God. Wisdom will tell you how to fight. Your Holy Ghost will let you know when you need to shoot back at your flesh. Your Holy Ghost will let you know when it's time for you to shoot the enemy, your flesh. That, that right there is a representation of the enemy. The flesh, the devil. He wants to get us out of the will of God. See, the devil is already, the devil is already defeated. He can no longer go back into the kingdom of God. He can no longer go back to where we are. So therefore, we have, to, we have to fight. Now, as you walk, just like Queen Elizabeth, you walk and just know that you are covered and protected. You might have your ear on this side, your mouth on this side, your feet in the back. But if you stand 10 hut on your flesh, as you walk, according to where God wants you to walk, because you know that you, we, we just passing through this world. We are not here to stay. We are not here to stay. Right now, we are in, uh, in audition for our life. That where we, where we inherit the kingdom of God or where we go to hell. You are in a, um, audition for your life. You audition to where you're going to sit. You are in audition because you know what? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Jesus said in John 14, he said, I go to prepare a place for you. He said, where I go, you will also be. He said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. I'm letting you know what's there. So therefore, why are you here on this earth? You know there's a mansion that awaits you. That can no man take it from you. Only you can take it. God, God has prepared a beautiful bed for you. A beautiful mansion for you. But we got to stand guarded. Queen Elizabeth, as she walks, she don't have to do anything. She just walk and be, just be the queen. The beautiful queen. Just like you, you just walk. You be a beautiful saint of God, a beautiful Christian of God, a beautiful follower of Jesus. That's all you have to do. 
You are guarded by the Holy Spirit. You got your weapon in your hand. So you are ready for war. So when the enemy come up against you, you got to know when it bang, bang. You got to know. You have to know when you got to put the scripture on that flesh. You have to know when you got to say, uh-uh, 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 God. I heard last Sunday, and this is what my pastor said. Mm-mm. My pastor said the word, so flesh, you got to go. That's when you pull at your weapon, you go bang, bang. That's when you know, when that flesh get out of control, you have to put on your war clothes. You have to get suited up. And you have to stand ten guard for God. You put on your army wear to do what you got to do to stand, stand guard. And you stand ten hut. You give attention to what's going on. When you got on your army clothes and you are prepared for war, you standing up with your weapon in your hand. When people go to war in the army, and when they on the front lines on the battlefield, when their enemy come up against them, they have to, they not to know when to draw their weapon. They have to know when it's time to go bang, bang. That's the same thing we got to do. We got to put on our war clothes and we got to be ready to know when to bang, bang. You got to know when it's time to crucify your flesh. You got to know when to get your flesh, put your flesh in submission. Make your flesh submit to you. Because that flesh is on you. That flesh can't do nothing. But when it starts getting out of control, like Paul said, he said, sometimes I got to beat my flesh. Sometimes you got to beat that flesh. I don't care what it is. By any means necessary, you got you to gotta fight. I had to fight this morning. And I thank God. When God reminded me, uh-uh, you asked me for something. Trust me for this. I immediately knew that the enemy, the enemy was lurking just like this bear. He was lurking to take me out. But for me to go on and to find a picture like that, it was nobody but God. When God gives you something, oh, he's going to complete what he has started in you. God started me with that this morning. He completed. It wasn't just for me. It's for you too. It's for anybody who, was, who are willing to walk in the ways of God. The world going to always be here for temporarily. It's a temporarily fix. But while we live, we're going to always have the world around us. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The world going to always be around us. It's going to always be cars, money, men, women, dogs, material. It's going to always be here as long as we are here on this earth. It's going to always be here. But you got to know how to fight that flesh when it's going to take you to a way that's not pleasing to God. You have to know when you got to. That's why he say, always put on the whole armor of God. Put on your shield, your breastplate. Put it all on. Carry the sword, which is the word of God. We got to always be ye ready. The enemy is ready for anybody who say, Lord, mm, I've been reading your word and I'm ready for your word. The enemy is always ready, baby. He always, sometimes he'll, he'll get a little quiet and um. Hold up. Okay. So the enemy likes to make noise, right? Hold up, I'm hot and take, no. The enemy always like to make noise. In one of these pill bottles, I have um, some more pills that um, I need. I had did some with the top, so I poured them in this one. And then in this other pill bottle is my Alive. I got two Alive bottles. Now, I don't know which one is the real vitamins. I don't know, what, know which one is the pills that, you know, that I just need from time to time. Okay, so... Both of them are covered in here. I, I have no idea which one is in. So this is a representation of, one is the rep representation of the flesh when it's loud. And another one is a representation of the Holy Ghost when he's telling you, mm-mm, mm-mm, the Holy Ghost is God. So I got both of these pill bottles. So Holy Ghost, you got to help me, Lord Jesus. 
So with these two pill bottles, they both gonna make noise because it's pills in the inside. One of them is um I forgot what kind of pill, but it's some little pills. And another one is my vitamin. So when I shake these up, both of them are making a noise. Your flesh is making a noise. God is making a noise. Flesh, Holy Ghost, flesh, Holy Ghost. But God said, which one are you going to choose? See, one of them I need every day, which is the vitamin. One of them is just temporary. I might need it every now and then. So I have to shake them up and see and listen with my ears and see which one is going to be the vitamin. Okay. This one here gonna be my vitamin. Yay! See, 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 it's my vitamins, okay? This one right here is the other pills that I need every now and then. So, I chose the vitamin when I'm saying, this, all of the head pill, this one right here that made, made a loud noise because it was smaller pill. But this one right here is the one that I needed. It, it, it made the same noise, but it was more of like a, a quiet one. God said it's the same thing with our flesh. People always ask, how do you know when it's the Holy Ghost? People always ask, how do you know when it's God speaking on this, the devil? Where the, the word of God says that God speaks with still waters, soft Silent, still water. God will speak to you. Don't do that. You shouldn't say that. You shouldn't be about that. The flesh is always worn. This is the flesh. Uh, the flesh is always worn. Ha, ha, ha. Get it, get it, get it. You need it, you need it, you need it. You want it, you want it, you want it. The flesh is always talking. But the still voice is saying, no, baby. Mm -mm. So it's a, it's a fight always going on. It's always talking. But this one right here talking real low. This one talking real low. Look, see, he never stopped. He never stopped. But the Holy Spirit is real quiet. He said, baby, no. And this right here is da, 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 da. We have to know how to listen to God and how to listen to our flesh. Your flesh can always be with you, but your flesh can lead you to heaven or it can lead you to, lead you to hell. It can lead you to, to hell if you, if you follow the ways of the flesh. The Holy Ghost going to always be with you. The Holy Ghost going to be with you in heaven. If you make it there and you'll be in hell, if you decide to journey, journey there. Because God said, God said, I will always be with you no matter what. To be in hell, to be in hell and just knowing that you, you in your right mind and you know by almighty God and you know by heaven, but you in hell and, and you're burning, you can't get no water, you can't get no peace. But your, you in your right mind, you remember everything you did here on earth. You remember every, every idle word you said to be in hell, to have a torturous mind. Who wants to live like that for eternity? But when you in God, when you go the ways of God, when you in heaven, you remember no more of what you once did or what you once was. You remember no more of the pain and the suffering you had here on earth. You don't remember any of that because you're in the glorious presence of Almighty God. To be in the glorious presence of Almighty God with a light that shines so bright that it's illuminating and you can't, can't even contain it. Do you mean to tell me you want to let your flesh get you out of heaven? Out of the ways of God, your flesh, that's going to always be with you and torturing you. Baby, you better stand to her. Huh? You better be ye ready with your sword in your hand. You better stand and you better know when to bang, bang, when that flesh get in the way, baby. You better know when to bang, bang. I'm telling y'all, y'all hear the word of God. Are you standing ten hut? Are you going to the ways of the devil? Or are you listening to God? Never get out of, out of position. Queen Elizabeth didn't get out of position as she walked. She walked with integrity. She walked with her head held high because of her title of who she is. You have a title on you. You are a believer. You are a saint of Almighty God. You are a follower of Jesus Christ. You walk with your head held up. And just knowing that you are guarded by the Holy Spirit. Just know that your ear gates, um, feet, your mouth, and your, your back is standing guarded. And you got to know when to keep it under submission. Don't you dare get out of position. The only time you get out of position is when you leave this earth. And when you leave this earth, let heaven be your home. 
Let heaven be your home. Only person can make sure you get there is you, baby. You can call on the Lord, Lord, all day long. But if you're not walking in the ways of God, it's not going to happen. If you allow the enemy to pull you out, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. We need God. He has given us the Holy Spirit. And let me tell you, if you are a person, and if you wasn't standing in hut, if you got out of position, and if you still got breath in your body, you can stand in hut, and God will forgive you. It's not over. You can still pick your weapon back up, and you can put your war clothes back on. All you have to do is say, Father God, forgive me. Forgive me for I know not what I do. You pick up your weapon. You polish your weapon. You wipe off the dust of your Bible. You read your word of God. This is your weapon. And you know how to shoot that very flesh that took you out of the will of God. And that's what you do. From this day forward, you try with everything that's in you. And baby, you fight. You are not dead. You are still here. You are still forgiven. And you are still made whole in the power of the Holy Ghost. Because of what Jesus Christ the Lord and Savior has done for you. He has done for all of us. His blood was shed for each and every one of us. It don't matter what you used to be. Don't be anymore. I used to be. I once was. But I had to learn how to pick my war back, my sword back up. I had to learn how to get back in the Bible and apply it to things that I need to apply for. Stand ten hut, soldiers. Queen, you walk according. King, you walk according to the will and the way of God. You do not let the devil get you out of position. You get your weapon. Which is the word of God. And you apply it to your flesh when it gets out of control. Don't get out of position because you see the bear. Don't get out of position because of your flesh. Don't get out of position because of the enemy trying to entice you. You stay according to the will and the way of God. There are some things that God want to get to you. Stand 10 hut and soldier, I'm out.